My name's Chris Pike and I'm World Superbike Operations Manager for Honda. The bike we race in World Superbike is the CBR1000 RR Fireblade SP2. The road bike itself is known for its agility and smooth engine character, so it's a nice, easy bike to ride fast. A production engine doesn't rev so hard and tends to produce more torque lower down in the rev range, and when you tune the engine, you push the power further up into the rev range. The SP2 production engine produces 189 horsepower at 13,000 RPM, and by the time it's been finished tuning, we have over 220 horsepower at 14,300 RPM. Most of the tuning is in the cylinder head. That's the most free area of the engine. You have to keep the standard crankcases. You have to keep the standard crankshaft. You can change the gearbox and you can change the clutch. When you finish tuning the engine, the power curve is not always necessarily 100% smooth. So a crop bridge is a really important partner because with some clever exhaust design, they can smooth out the power curve to make it much easier to control on the racetrack. When you increase the power by the amount we do, then we have to make some quite significant changes to the chassis. The superbike rule uh, allow us to make some modification on the frame that is basically the standard frame of the street bike, making it stiffer with the carbon fiber reinforcement on the bottom of the frame that give us the possibility to have more stiffness in this part of the chassis. Swing arm is an important part of the bike, especially for the acceleration. We make it stronger in the areas where we need it stronger and there's a significant weight saving there. The standard SP2 weighs around 190 kilos and we have to reduce that to 168. So every single part is designed and calculated to reduce the weight. We have several ways to adjust the geometry of the bike. To have a bike more agile, normally you play with the front end. We can change the head angle, the offset, and the position of the steering axis. The rake, that's basically the angle of the fork in relation to the ground. The trail is the, the, the line through the center of the fork to the ground, and then you drop a vertical line through the front axle. You can adjust that with your offset. The offset is the difference between the steering stem and the fork center position. On the rear, as well, we can change pivot position and the geometry of suspension linkage. So it depends track by track, the less trail or rake or whatever combination we need. These bikes are the most advanced production racers in the world and therefore we need the fastest riders in the world to ride them.